Program two, workout D. We're going to begin with the dead bugs. So with the dead bug, make sure that you're grabbing the bag from the inside. The next thing that we're going to do is focus on the knee. Then we want them at 90 degrees. So when you're getting people set up in this position, make sure that they're crushing their low back into the ground. Their knees aren't too pulled up high. This is way too high and I want them to focus more on lowering the leg down a little bit. This way, the knee and hip are relatively in line. So that way when they're going through their dead bugs, they're focusing on keeping everything tight. If we have too high of a knee, uh, we're defeating some of the purpose of the stability in the pelvis. So when you're going through your dead bugs, uh, again, we can progress to the downward chop. We can progress into that upward chop, depending on where they're at. So continuously focus on having members progress through the movement, but just make sure that they're going through the movement in a controlled manner where the hips and knees are in line. That way the pelvis can be controlled. Next, we're gonna be going through the weighted hip roll. Now, with the weighted hip roll, if members are having issues with going into that full motion here, uh, we can have them go into a quarter roll, where it's just going into the side. This is okay, as long as they're turning their head and driving their heel into the ground to roll themselves. Now, as we go through this motion, it's still focusing on the eyes, and head turn. Now, when I roll myself up, what I want to think about is just above my elbow, there's a flat edge that I'm resting on. So when I turn my head and I begin to roll, I'm going to pull my elbow into the ground and roll my hip at the same time. I'm gonna roll back down. So again, what I'm focusing on is my head is turned, my arm is at a 90 degree angle, my hip is ready to push, so as soon as I push my foot into the ground, my elbow and arm go down at the same time to help with momentum. Bring it back down. So the goal is to get the elbow involved and to keep the head turned down as you go through this motion. Next we'll be pairing that up with bird dog hold. Uh, with the bird dog hold, I want us to pause for a two count. So. Again, we want to start with the bag on the outside of the moving hip. I'm grabbing the ground with my hands. Now, as I get myself set up, I'm going to pull my elbow back. That way my shoulder's not hiked up, lats engaged, and then I'm going to extend. One, two, bring it back. Nice and tight. One, two, bring it back. So when you're going through this movement, make sure that we're actively holding that bottom position from a different angle. Uh, we're holding that bottom position for that one, two count. The foot and hand are actively being involved with the ground contact. So make sure your hand is squeezing the ground, your toes are digging into the ground, and you're getting tight. After that, we'll be going into split squats. So with the split squats, um, again, with the volume that's prescribed, you might want to lower down reps, just depends on the person, but just let them know that they can always go down in reps. They don't have to be stuck at the number prescribed. So the split squat, the focus here is going to be what's going on with the foot. So when I'm going through this, what I want us to focus on is the feel and the contact of the foot and the ground. What I mean by that is I want us to have our members feel for the active uh, pull in the foot and the active push in the foot on the way up and down. So when I get myself set up in this position, I'm actively pushing my foot down into the ground. Now as I come down, I'm lowering or actively pulling my hips down into the front of my, not the front, I'm sorry, more so in the middle of my foot. So I push on my way up, and then as I lower down my hips, I actively pull my foot into the ground. That way it feels a little bit more stable as I'm going down. Lastly, we have single arm rows, and just depending on where your member's at, keep working on trying to um, 
say if we go through the progressions, the thing I want us to focus on is the pinky and the ring finger. And what that has to do with anything is, if I grip a little bit tighter through the pinky and the ring finger, my tricep and my lat will work a little bit more. So as I get myself set up for that single arm row position, I'm going to be actively pulling a little bit more through the pinky and the ring finger by squeezing the dumbbell to get my lat and tricep to fire a little bit more.